It's several years. How is it even possible that you still don't know the fucking prices? You can't sell people beer for a different price every time. Beer comes in one size, and it always costs the goddamn same. Get it tattooed on your fucking forearm. Goddamn idiot. And be goddamn polite to people. And fuck. I really don't know why I bother hiring staff in the first place. Gotta do every damn thing your damn self anyway if you want it done right. And now you show up? Like my day's not shitty enough. What the fuck do you want, Jax? So you haven't forgotten me. How could I? You turned the fort upside down. So tell me, how do I get rid of you? You ever seen this before? It's one of those pieces of paper advertising Baxter's goons, isn't it? That's right. And what do you expect me to do with it? Who's responsible for these flyers? What? How the fuck should I know? I sell beer, I'm not a goddamn psychic. This propaganda was written on the back of your drink menus. Huh. Well, that explains a lot. And what's that? I knew someone was stealing my drink menus. I have to get new ones made all the time. It was killing me. I was about to start just writing the damn prices on the blackboard. Having said that, I'm pretty sure no menus have gone missing in the last week or so. So you probably won't find the culprits here. Was that it? If so, I need to get back to work. I'm sorry I can't help you. You'll just have to keep looking. Hey, can you teach me something? Me? Teach you? Have you spent the last few years drinking away your couple of remaining brain cells? Can you or can't you? Okay, well, I don't know much, but maybe I know something that can help. You can decide when we get started. I want to learn from you. Let's get this over with. Ivan is waiting for his groceries. Who? The merchant. Which one? The Morcon trader. Oh, him. You've come to the wrong place. He mentioned you specifically. So what if he did? I had his goods. Had. So where are they now? How the fuck do I know? Some asshole stole them and I'd have to go to the upper district to get replacements. But if I tell you it was Rat who swiped the stuff, it's nothing you didn't know already. Ivan won't like that. Not my fucking problem. Unless Fenris loosens up access to the upper district, he's shit out of luck. I can't perform miracles. About Ivan's groceries. Is the upper... Bad mood? No, I'm the motherfucking poster girl for happiness. I want a drink. Then go see my bartender. That's what he's there for. Listen, it's nothing to do with you, but I'm really not in the mood for shooting the shit now. Unless you've got something real important to say, go drink something. Apparently they're still in Goliath. Look, can't you see I'm deep in conversation with this bottle? Hmm. You think so? I think you're full of shit. I don't believe it. I just don't think about it. I can't make it any better. Think so? I think you're full of shit. Dwelling on it. 
I've spoken to Chloe. And? Did she have anything to do with those flyers? She claims someone stole those drink menus from her. She was even thinking about getting rid of the menus for good. Would save her from having to make new ones all the time. Hmm, sounds like she isn't involved. But what about Lass? Speak to him yet? Not yet. Maybe you'll have more luck with him. Take me on a tour of the camp. I knew you'd change your mind. I was just getting ready to stretch my legs. Come on, then. The living quarters are located directly behind the entrance to the fort. Most cultivators and simple workers live here. You won't find any fucking snobs down here. They all live in the upper district. I'll show you that later, I guess, even though they won't let you in. <laughs> this job. is Skinny's Soup Kitchen. If you want something to eat, and you're short on shards, Skinny's the man to talk to. You wanna grab something before we keep going? No. Let's keep going. Okay. If we head over the bridge, we'll be in the Trade District. Most of the bastards here want real shards for whatever they sell. They're not as agreeable as old Skinny. Sometimes you'll find traders from other factions here. Don't let them take you for a ride. If it was up to Gardar, they'd all be kicked out. I don't care. Let them trade if they want to. Do you want to take a look at some of the stalls before we keep going? Nah, let's keep going. Suit yourself. On our left, you'll see the Mana Shrine. This is where the real berserkers play around with elix, magic, all that type of shit. I don't touch that stuff. We'll go to my shrine in a minute. Chloe's Berserker Shrine. <laughs> and here we are, the most holy of holy places, the bar. Chloe's the only person who got to keep her post when the berserkers took over. She ran this joint when this place was a desert, and she's still in charge now. Let's keep going. Huh, guess that's a no on the beer. Ah, oh, well, I'll grab one later. Follow me. We have to go past the Mana Shrine again and over the bridge. Then we'll be in the last district everyone is allowed to visit. I admit, I can't tell you much about the healers. They're alco... Alco... I mean, they brew potions and shit. I don't understand a word of it. Go talk to them if you're interested. They trained in Goliath, real masters of their trade. The only thing I know is that they make damn good healing potions. I'd be willing to bet they also brew up the stuff Chloe sells. Tour's almost over. Let's keep going. Over there's the entrance to the upper district. Only the rich fucks are allowed in, and rats in charge. I still can't believe they made that bum the boss. Here we are. If you don't have permission to enter the upper district, you should talk to Fenris. He's the only one who can let you in, unless Rat wants to see you. Other than that, you've pretty much seen the whole fort now. Any questions? How did you end up as a berserker? 
When the Berserkers took over the fort and chased off the old Duke, tons of outlaws took off and settled in Crater City with Baxter. But I didn't. No fucking way I'm gonna report to Baxter, the bastard. I'll stick with the rat and the Berserkers. Have to admit, I do miss the high a little, but I'm not going begging to that lot for the sake of a few chems. You used to be addicted to chems? You can say that, yeah. I took them every day before sleep and as soon as I woke up. That shit really makes you the best of the best, but if you do it for too long, it eats at your brain and destroys you. Better stay away, that's my advice. Rats in charge here? You might know him. He used to be called Crazy Rat. Earned that name by tricking and murdering his way up out of the mud. But everyone seems to have forgotten that part. That man is a smooth talker. He could convince a boulder to float. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I always forget this part. I'm gonna need a few shards from you as payment for the tour. You never said I had to pay you. Yeah, I, I should have mentioned it, but uh, would you have come on the tour if you had to pay? And honestly, I did forget. Well, will you pay? Forget it. You didn't buy me a beer, and now you don't even have the decency to pay me? Don't think I'll just let you get away with this. I'll remember. This war is right on our doorstep. That's what I always say. She looked at Are these nails your handiwork? Let me see. Hmm. Could be. Been a while since I made nails. But the longer ones there, those might be mine. Stopped making them because they just kept getting stolen. Why you ask? Those nails were used to hang up outlaw propaganda. Well, that explains why nobody was buying and why they kept getting stolen. And now they suspect me. That it? And if they did? Oh, it's just about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I like it here. Like being the smith. Why would I go over to them outlaws? Way they treat metal. All that artless welding. No pride in it. Can't abide it. Nope. So I keep my distance from them. Sorry I can't help. Never did catch the thieves. They knew what they were doing. If that's the case, I suppose I'll have to keep searching. Hope you find them. Good luck. She looked at me. She shook her head. I stink just like a pig, she said. Now I stay clear of women better that way. So I just swing. This war is right on our doorstep. Don't even think about stealing anything. spoken with Lass. So, do you think he's evolved? Doesn't look like it. Someone stole a batch of nails from his workshop. Same type used to hang up the flyers. 
There's not much to go on. At least now we know for sure the nails were his. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Our only leads and they're up in smoke. I didn't have much luck either. I staked out the tavern hoping to see something suspicious, but nothing. A couple of people acting a little shady, but no one's stealing menus. Now we must have missed something, so let's go over the details again. Everything we know about the Flyers so far. Both our suspects seem to be innocent. The real culprit stole the Flyers and Nails from them. Right. It doesn't look like those robberies happened too recently. No one saw the thief, which means we're not dealing with some small-time crook. They know what they're doing. What else do we have? The flyers were made and hung up using common items from around the fort. Interesting point when you think about it. Probably means we're dealing with someone who lives here, not some outsider. Anything else? Looks like the outlaws were behind it all. That much is obvious. Of course, someone could be framing them, but... Eh, I don't buy that. So, to sum up, the people behind the Flyers, and probably the attempt on Rat's life, too, are likely to be outlaws living in the fort. And they're not a bunch of amateurs. Hmm. So, what do we do now? Gotta admit, I don't have a frickin' clue. We're out of options here. The only thing left is to catch him in the act. So we just wait? Well, we can do a sweep of the fort once it's dark and hope we get lucky. Not a great plan, but unless you can think of anything else. Can't say I can. And that's what we'll do. Let me know when you're ready. Let's start our night patrol. Kinda needs to be nighttime for us to go on night patrol, don't you think? Find a bed or rent a room at the Sleepy Traveler and get some shut eye. Then come back when it's dark. What do I care? We should feel shame. I heard things in a best there are got here. Anyone who says so is a damn idiot. I don't believe it. For some reason, I don't buy Dawkins' story about the hybrid machines. But, well, who can prove otherwise? Let's start our night patrol. I'm ready if you are. Let's go. How about we go off the beaten track? We can get a good look at what's going on behind the houses, too. Remember, we're not dealing with morons here. They're not gonna come strutting down the main road. Pike 
down. That's someone back there. He's mine. Okay. I'll wait here. Just be ready to back me up if he tries to make a break for it. Hey, you! Come over here! Uh, what? Are you talking to me? Don't play dumb. What are you doing back here? I'm just, uh, taking care of some private business. I know you're the one who tried to kill Rat. Don't try to deny it. What? No! Why would I do that? I've been a berserker for six years, and I've never done anything wrong, I swear. Then you won't mind telling me what you're doing here. I... well, the thing is... I... Ah, fuck it. Okay, I'll come clean. I was, uh, just doing my business, you know, taking a leak through the window. You what? Look, the guy who lives here tried it on with my woman. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Huh. I guess I'd be pretty pissed, too. This might be taking it too far, though. Still, I believe you. So get out of here before I change my mind. Bye, Ragnar. Thank you. You won't see me again. Well, that was a big, hot stream and nothing. And as colorful as it might be, pissing through someone's window isn't quite against the law. Let's forget the whole thing and keep moving. When you gotta go, you gotta go. We'll be watching you! Keep your eyes peeled. Any tiny detail could be significant. You hear that? Let's take a look. Those two look mighty suspicious, don't you think? You should get in closer, see what they're talking about. Good idea. We should listen in first. Move in until you're within earshot. Wait for my signal. Hey, boo. Not interested. Just leave me alone. Oh, come on, sugar. I know you want it. You don't have to play hard to get. Now give me some sugar. Hey! Worried you'll be caught? You can stop sneaking around. I saw you. I think we've heard enough. Stop! You there! What are you doing, asshole? You totally cock-blocked me. Listen to yourself. Got more booze than sense in your head. Hey, take it easy. I, I wasn't gonna do anything to her. I ever see you talking to a woman like that again, I'll slam your face into the ground. And that's if you're lucky. Fuck, man. I get it. I get it. Maybe I did have a few too many. Get out of here and sleep it off. And think about what you're doing with your life. Go on, scram! Scumbag like that's always worth keeping an eye on. I won't forget his face. But as fucked up as that was, it has nothing to do with why we're here. Let's take a look around the smithy. That's where they got the nails. Maybe they'll be back for more. Can't believe something like that could happen here. You never see that kind of thing in Goliath. Maybe we'll catch a break and find someone at the blacksmith. We better. After that, I'm out of ideas. At least it hasn't been a total waste. Plenty going on tonight. Just nothing that has anything to do with those flyers. I'm starting to think we won't find anyone connected to this whole mess tonight. Still, let's not give up. Sweep's not over yet. Look, 
Over there, right by the smithy. You deal with this one. Go and speak to him. No problem. Good. Just don't stir up any shit if you don't have to. I'll keep watch and make sure he doesn't run. You there! What? What? Turn out your pockets. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not even a pissant guard. I'm not telling you anything. Now get the fuck out of here. Tell me what I want to know. Unless you want me to kick your fucking teeth in. Oh, <laughs> I like your attitude. Come on then, give me your best shot. Get on with it! Beat him to a pulp! <sighs> Fuck, you don't pull your punches, do you? Whew. Just tell me what you're doing here. Unless you want another fist in the face. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. But you're gonna be disappointed. I wasn't trying to steal anything. I was just looking for my smokes. I know I dropped them around here somewhere. I've been sitting in the tavern all night. Come out here for a quick smoke and drop the fucking pack. And that's when you came along. You expect me to believe that crap? Believe what you want. That's what happened. We can kick the shit out of each other as many times as you like, and it won't change anything. I'm no thief. Fine. Just get out of here. No, don't worry. I'm heading right back to Chloe's place and the sweet embrace of about a dozen bottles. Gonna get hammered tonight. <laughs> uh, another dead end. Let's just finish our sweep and head back to the tavern. You could have helped me there. I knew you could handle him. Besides, I found the pack of smokes he lost. I prefer to think of violence as a last resort. Not sure I would have taken your approach there. Anyway, quit your whining. We should head back. Uh, this isn't gonna be our lucky night. Unless we suddenly stumble over the people we're looking for. I'm starting to lose hope. <clears throat> me too. You have all the makings of a great berserker. Nice work out there. Anyway, we're nearly there. Seen anything else that looks fishy? Can't say I have. God damn it. Me neither. the tavern again. Think I'll go in and soak up some of the atmosphere. Ask around. Maybe I'll hear something. That's about all we can do. The whole night was a waste of time. You giving up? Maybe. I don't know. We should split up for now anyway. Maybe we'll have more luck that way. Other than that, I'm all out of ideas. Anyway, let me know if you see or hear anything that seems even slightly relevant. Anything. Right then. See you later. Whatever you want to tell me is probably unconvincing. I bet you're good at fighting. Can you teach me? Sure. You hand over some shards. Teach me how to fight. What do you want to know?
Beer, please. Well, you're a barrel of laughs this evening. Oh, yeah. I'm all smiles. Want to talk about it? Ah, just a shitty assignment from Rat, that's all. But who cares, right? As long as there's beer. Hey, you're the customer. But you know where to find me if you want to have a real talk. Thanks, Chloe. Appreciate it. We have all the information. Anyone who says those damn idiots. What do you want to know? Think about it. Not to happen. No point dwelling on it. What do I care? I don't believe it. You think so? I think you're full of shit. We have our man. I'm still not done with my drink. Come back later, man. Good evening, sir. What can I offer you? Can I get a drink? What would you like? Whatever you want to tell me is probably unconvincing. Not now. I'm busy. You better be quiet. I don't have time so? right now. I think you're full of shit. It's impossible. I really couldn't care less. Can't you see I'm busy? Too many ears listening. Apparently they're still in Goliath. What's the kind of thing? What do I care? We have our way, which should be enough. I really couldn't care less. You better be quiet. I heard things in a Bessa are dire. We have our way. It should be enough. Well, just don't think about it. We should feel shame. Anyone who says so is a damn idiot.
<laughs> There's my trusty friend. Well, uh, did you manage to get a hold of my supplies? Chloe didn't have your provisions. Seriously? You mean to say you've come back empty-handed? That's not right! There's not a food shortage, is there? Not exactly. Someone with sticky fingers. They were stolen? Oh, for Ravok's sake, just my luck. The guards were probably too busy harassing me to notice. What do I do now? I'll make sure Chloe holds up her end of the bargain. I won't ask how you'll manage that, but I'm not going to argue. Let me know when you have news. Fenris sent me. It's about the mine. So? What'd he say? He gave me money. Huh. Well, that's a shit ton of shards, but what in the hell are you supposed to do with them? Stuff them in the fucking cracks to stop the leak? You got any bright ideas, son? Buy gas masks? Huh. Guess we could. Fenris gave us enough shards for that. But that ain't so much a solution as sidestepping around the damn problem. I don't even know where to get them. I'll ever think. Not total shit as far as plans go, but we gotta do better than that. Any other ideas? How about sealing up the source of the gas? Well, that sure would work good. But some poor son of a bitch has gotta go down there and find the source. Yeah. I know, old Scrappy's already asked a lot, but would you do this for me too? No problem. You should take some of Fenris's money. Get yourself some healing potions or some shit like that. You know what, hang on. I think I got a gas mask around here somewhere. It's crap, but it might help a little. You look around the mine, I'll think up plan B. Fucked if I know what it'll involve, but... Leave it to old Scrappy. I found the source of the gas. High volumes of it are emanating from the back of the mine. Don't think the source can be blocked off. Well, shit. You saying there's no way to get rid of it? Doesn't look like it. Son of a bitch! Ah, but wait. Old Scrappy's got an idea. Well, was your idea, actually. But let's talk about you. Take some of Fenris's shards, okay? Have someone check you out. Gas is dangerous shit. So, what's your idea? Gas masks. We need gas masks. Let me guess. You want me to find them? They ain't no skin off my back if you don't help. But it'd be nice and all, for old time's sake. You know, help out an old man. I mean, it's pretty dangerous. Getting folk to work in the mine with just a gas mask is about as wise as shoving a stick up a troll's ass. But I ain't got no choice. We need the iron. You'll need new miners as well. Oh, shit, huh? <laughs> Didn't think about that. 
But we can buy masks from the Morgons if one of them mole trader fuckers is in the fort. They must have that sort of shit, living underground and all. I'll see if I can find anything. Here. This should be enough to get some masks. Now I gotta figure out how to convince some other poor bastards to work down the mine. Hm. I have the gas masks you need. You got them? Seriously? Fuck me, son. You're a damn hero, you know? Ain't got a damn clue how I can thank you. Ah, you know what? Take more of Fenris's money. You've damn well earned it. I want to become a berserker. Best idea you ever had, son. Glad to give it, boy. Oh, thanks. Just as soon as you help with this mine clusterfuck. I knew there'd be a catch. Don't get shitty with me, son. Got clear instructions from Rat, and I'm gonna follow him. You help me out, you get my vote. You scratch my scabby old ass, I'll scratch yours. Or something like that. How are you gonna find new miners? Guess I'll just hang up a few flyers or something. Still got some floating around. Might not mention the last lot dying. Why don't you hang up a few on the bulletin boards? I'll take care of the area around the main gates. Where do I find the bulletin boards? There's one near Chloe's Tavern, one near the fields, and one close to Skinny's Soup Kitchen. Uh, be careful out in the fields. Thorhill would be pissed if we try and take her workers. Got all that? Well, yeah, off you go then. If you need me, I'll be hanging around the main gate. You got something to hide, creeping around? That fuckhead's just stealing! You shits yourself, why you squat? You shits yourself, why you squat? You got some. That fuckhead's just. You're shameless, goddammit.
Go ahead. I'll be right behind you. Jax, I'll be leaving for Tavar soon, for a reconnaissance mission. And since you offered to help... What are we talking about? My men and I are going to investigate the region around the fort in Tavar. There's talk of the clerics sending mechanical spies to monitor our troops' movements. If that's true, I intend to smash them to pieces and send them right back to their masters. You don't need your bodyguards. I'll go with you. I'm sure we can manage. Fine. Tell me when you're ready and we'll leave immediately.
Go ahead. I'll be right behind you. Time to go on that scouting expedition to Tavar. We should hurry, before the cleric spies go into hiding. I need to find out what they've been doing before I neutralize them. There they are. Just as I thought. Those cleric fanatics sent machines to spy on us. Are you sure? I'm familiar with cleric technology, and these machines are acting kinda odd. Looks more like they're programmed for battle, not surveillance. We'll soon find out. Hmm. Strange. right behind you. Looks like you were right. They've been programmed for battle. How dare the clerics launch such a brazen attack? I'm not so sure they have. The clerics have their own problems to deal with. But we can leave that discussion for later. Let's get rid of all the machines around the fort first. All right, if you say so. Hey! 
You still owe me shards for the tour I gave you, remember? I'm not giving you any money. Listen up, buddy. I'll be nice this time. You've got one last chance. Two days. After that, you pay me double, or I'll be forced to get violent. Got it? Honestly, what was that all about? These robots are pretty tough. I'd like to shove them right down the cleric's throats. Come on. We can do this. So somebody else took control of them? But why? What do you mean? Let's just finish off the rest of them. Then we'll talk. Okay. Yeah. 
Watch out! <laughs> Sometimes it better kept hitting. Furious? Sounds like bullshit to me. Uh, that's too much for this one. Could you have ever imagined that this former bumblefuck outlaw desert town would look like this one day? The outlaws should thank us for what we did to their wasteland.
Hey! Hey. Woo! That was close, huh? Is this how your fights usually go? On Thursdays, yeah. And some other days, too. Wait, is this Thursday? Who are you? Call me Fox. No, wait. No, no, that's good. That's good. That'll work. I mean, who cares about real names anyway, right? I'm a berserker warrior. Well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Well, ask at the fort, and they'll say I'm barely a cultivator. You're bullshitting me. You, no Kaya. I was worried you'd say that. Hey, what do you know? She can talk. <clears throat> hmm. Excellent. I guess we better be careful then. You spend a lot of time at the fort? More than I'd like. More than anybody there would like too. What's the problem? You know what, I'm not sure. Something about my beautiful face seems to make my superiors break out in hives. Nope, I don't tend to last long with any of the paladins. Guess I'm just too damn wily for them. Every community has its values. You're talking about warrior's honor, right? The nobility of sacrifice, the sanctity of duty. Yeah, I never really got my head around that stuff, you know? You all alone out here? I was with a scouting troop doing sweeps around the fort, cleaning things up. But things went sour because, well, because that's what usually happens. The paladin was always riding me, moaning about everything I did. So I told him where to stick it, just trying to be honest, you know, start a dialogue. So he gives me punishment detail in the watchtower, which I do without complaining, thank you. But then I make one little mistake, confusing his boots with a latrine, and I get a week of construction work. Anyway, long story short, I work better on my own. Yeah, I noticed. Hey, sometimes it's just Thursday. What can you do? What's your real name? You're just dying to know, aren't you? Oh, makes me way less likely to tell you. That bad, huh? It's, oh, nice try, old man. Just call me Fox, like I said, okay? You do a lot of hunting around the Purple Towers? Oh, you mean where all those nice, friendly beasts come from? I stay out of their way. Helps with my whole not getting killed policy. I know, I know, Berserkers are supposed to rid the land of those things, stop them from taking over. What can I say? I'm just too damn pretty to die young. You, though, you're neither young nor pretty. Bet you've met those cute little critters more than a few times, huh? I could use someone like you at my side. If only you had some discipline, kid. Ah, uh, teamwork just isn't my thing, you know? Some people like it. The last guy I joined up with fell into a canyon. Bam. Gone. Yep, haven't seen him since. Huh. Unrelated. How are you with heights? Ugh. Ah, forget it. You've got this whole fighting thing down, right? Using weapons and all that junk? I think so. Well, great. Then we're good to go. Oh, no, wait, we're not. Remember me saying I work alone? It was like 20 seconds ago. Besides, I haven't even seen you in action. That little scuffle back there completely does not count. A clown like you is gonna question my fighting skills? Hmm, okay, okay. How about this for an idea? I don't know where you're from, but I'm just gonna assume it's around here, same as me. Which basically makes us neighbors, right? Something like that, sure. So, how about we help each other out a little? It'll be like our very own little neighborhood watch. We can take a stroll through Tavar, see the sights, kill a couple beasties. We'll get to know each other, and we'll see how it goes. So, want to go hunting? I wouldn't call it that. More like we're keeping the place spick and span. And if it means just a tiny bit of violence, well, that's just the way it goes. Damn it. I'm running out of time. Not bad. Okay, lead the way. 
They're right behind you. Okay, good. But I'm a fast and handsome son of a bitch, so keep up. I hate waiting. You know your way around here? I used to. Things have changed since then. Yep. Life finds a way and all that. Piece of crap! <laughs> So, where are you from? You know, originally. Born with the Alps. Really? Huh. Wow. That sounds.